do Biati Prinsloo, now I'm married to Adam Levine, Thigh High Boots, and Santa Monica Beach have in common? This photo shoot that I did for Italian Flair magazine a couple years ago with fabulous photographer Matteo Varenz. Now, I used to shoot a lot for this Italian magazine, fashion magazine, basically because I really loved the fashion director at the time and she would kind of let me do what I want. So it was one of these moments where I got to bring a lot of awesome vintage clothing from my archive and go and shop at the thrift store and mix it with really hardcore high-end luxury brands. Now, my concept for the shoot was kind of taking my idea of Carleen Surf and um, Emmanuel Alt and doing my version of it on the beach with a photographer who did one of my favorite magazines in the early 2000s, late 90s, Matthias Varenz, who did a magazine called Dutch. So I wanted to put those interesting elements together and then add in a very sexy girl, um, Bahati, Bahati um, and kind of knew that, because she, because I also knew Bahati, I've known Bahati for a while, and I know that she had this kind of supernatural, she doesn't need any makeup, she's got the fabulous long hair, and I just knew she was the perfect girl to kind of counterbalance all these super kind of over-the-top ideas that I had for this shoot. So, and I know she could also take the hardcore layering I wanted to do for the shoot as well. So, we had so much fun. We took uh, the day and went to um, Santa Monica, which was super close to Mateus lived at the time in Venice. And we went to the beach and just shot on, he shot on smaller cameras, like real 35 millimeter film, which is very rare that actually anybody shoots on film these days, except Alistair McClellan, who shoots a lot on film, and then my other friend, Angela Panetta. But I thought it was super cool, like Mateus had actually shot everything on 35 millimeter film, and um, we shot everything with a flash on the beach in broad daylight in Santa Monica and Venice. So I love this shoot just because it's all the things that I love to wear, plus references from two of my favorite stylists, Emmanuel Alt and Carlene. And, um, and so I wanted to do kind of layered army jackets, big sweaters and knits, and thigh-high boots, which are a part of my yearly, every, all my life wardrobe, and add in like some heavy jewelry touches that are kind of that, that Carlene Surf um, inspiration. So we did that, we headed to Santa Monica, and you'll see as you, we go through the pictures, there's tons of fun fur bits, and you know, just the kind of idea of having Bati just in these very over-the-top outfits, if you will, but just chilling at the beach, you know? And it's always kind of fun to take it. I like to think of when I'm referencing, especially for the fashion stuff, I usually don't like to reference fashion people like Carlene and Emmanuel, but those two people are so kind of, to me, timeless and have their moments in time that I was like, okay, well, the only way to get my obsession with them out of my system is to do a story based on them and how do I mix them together and how do I make it new and cool and different? So that's why I thought that, you know, doing the backgrounds at Santa Monica with the pier and with the, the amusement park and with the volleyball nets and all that kind of stuff was really, really cool and made it something different. Now I also love, and some of them I added in flip-flops, you know, we have the heavy jewelry, there's like a pleather leather pants situation going on. I love the headdress and the picture sitting in front of the volleyball courts. It reminds me of old Hammett Lang, an old picture of Kate Moss and the cover of the face that I was obsessed with. Um, I just think also Bahati just looks so beautiful in all of these pictures. I also love the picture. I found this random uh, light yellow sweatshirt that I ended up mixing with these Chloe pants and where we just sat her down this gas barrel that we found that I think was a trash can turned over. I just love the idea of this super glamorous woman um, who, but who's quite natural but glamorous in her outfit with her heels sitting on like a gas can. I thought it was quite funny and cool and I don't know I just like to mix it up like that so I was obsessed with the scrunchy leather boots, obsessed with all like, and also mixing it with shorts. And then one of my favorite pictures from this whole thing was Biati and like a baseball cap and a huge, my friend Stuart had just started doing Loewe and we, I wrapped this huge Loewe blanket around her shoulders and belted it. And then at the time Prada had just done these, these um, they did kind of a fishing collection and there were these fishing Prada um, waiters. So this is one of my favorite outfits from the whole day. I wish I could dress like this every day. Sometimes I do dress like this every day, but um, it was one of my favorite kind of moments of the story. And then, I don't know, I don't know, I just love this whole freaking story. And then, you know, the, the flannel with the mom jeans or like, you know, the 90s jeans. And, and again, this was 2000, 
let's see, 2007. So it's a little bit, you know, this was like five years ago before everybody was really doing the mom jeans and the flannel thing. So I don't know. It was cool. And then I love this picture too, one of my favorite navy blue flannels with the Prada waders again and the, the necklace hanging and the volleyball courts in the backyard. I just really love how Mateus did amazing cropping on this stuff. And then I love the swing set picture because it's a it's a really funky, like funny Chanel sweatshirt she has on that looks like it's made out of trash bags, but it's like a fucking hardcore Chanel shirt layered over like a fishing shirt that I found at the thrift store with I think some like fancy Chloe pants. So I don't know. It was just really fun to also have the opportunity to mix stuff I found at thrift stores and vintage stores and from my own collection with these high end goods. You don't always get the opportunity to do that, but that's why I love the editor at Italian Flair so much is because she gave me the space to do it. And as a result we got really, really cool stories out of it. So yeah, I love, you know, the kind of layers of referencing and then Mateus just did such an incredible job with the cropping and the imagery. Um, this is one of my favorite stories I've ever done so enjoy. There's Flashback Friday and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Flashback Friday. Check you later. <laughs>